Hi, right, what's up, Robert? So welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm very excited to do a review of the Best Mac app. This is going to be the first episode of the Best Mac app, and a big thanks to PDF Element, who is our main sponsor for this episode. PDF Element also gives you guys some gift. So to know more about how to get a gift from PDF Element, please stay tuned to the end of this video. With PDF Element, you can create PDF file or you can just drag your PDF file onto the app so that you can edit the font, you can add information, you can change font colors and style. After editing, you can export your documents into different formats. You can export it to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Image, EPUB, plain text, pages, HTML, and or TF. Last but not least, the PDF element has the capability to perform OCR, meaning that you can edit the text on a scanned document or image. Okay guys, so the first app that we'd like to talk about today is called False Pro. Fall is a download manager for Mac OS with a true Mac style interface. It offers convenient downloads managing, flexible settings. Fall has a unique system of sorting and keeping the downloaded content. So Fall is used to download YouTube videos, which has never been possible in a very easy way. Plus, what is even special about this app, it has the capability to enable torrent search directly from the application itself. Meaning that you don't need to browse through multiple torrent trackers or different websites to, to find your favorite movies or software through torrents. Because on this app itself, what you can do is just to just to search, enter a keyword in false, and it will automatically search what you are searching for. Okay, so now let me try downloading one video from YouTube. Just click plus and as you can see the link from the YouTube is automatically paste I, I don't even paste it into this and then save you can choose folder so I just choose automatic and at start I just choose immediately or you can go with schedule if you want to schedule this uh, videos to be downloaded and uh, the quality as the app suggests the top quality of this video is 1080p so just click on 1080p and then click OK okay so the song is now finished so with this app you don't have to click or right click and then show in finder what you can do is just to double click on that downloaded video right from the app okay and then it just pop up this screen and then you can play the song now let me show you how to download the torrents from this app so in order to download the torrent like i mentioned earlier you don't have to go through different websites or different torrent sites just to find the right torrent for example if you want to download any movies what you have to do is just to click or search in this search bar okay so you can see now the first one with the seat 60 and the torrents keep searching so just sit and relax so the best thing about this app is it tries to find the uh, most seats for you yeah you can scroll down to see other options if you want to but the thing is that this app try to search for the one that has the most seat for you if you don't know seats is very important it helps you to download the video or your software faster okay with the most seats okay so that's all for the Fox the first app now let's move on to the second app so the second app is called all AV soft so with AV soft it has the capability to download the video from YouTube and a hundred plus websites and the greatest thing about this app is it can download the video up to 4K, even 3D. Okay, so now let me try downloading one of the videos from YouTube. Download quality, just choose best available and then click on download button. So the files is 94.75 megabytes 
and the speed is 2 or 1 megabyte per second which is twice faster than the false while waiting this video to be downloaded let me try downloading another video which is from daily motion and then go to this button and yeah again it's automatically paced it's time to click download again this is need to be best available the other video is being downloaded with the speed one megabytes per second which is very very fast okay so now let me try downloading another video from Facebook let's see if it works as well click show video URL and copy the link from here then go to the all AV soft click on this and just click download let's check the first video that I downloaded okay just double click okay it just pop up like this okay how about second video just double click yeah, this is the second video that I downloaded as you can see from daily motion okay so it's done just double click yes now we can play the video which I uh, have just downloaded right from the Facebook what is even better about this is if you don't want to have the video you can even convert it into mp3 for example you can select any video that you want to and convert to okay so you can convert to whatever you want any files that you want or you can even search profile okay to make it quicker just click on that so then this is the button where you can convert that video into mp3 okay so that's all about the second app now let's move on to the third app that I would like to bring it because it's very very important this app is called I thoughts yes I thoughts what is I thoughts I thought X is a mind mapping app for Mac it is based upon and fully compatible with I thought for iOS mind mapping enables you to visually organize your thoughts ideas and information what you can do on this app is you can do a task list summarizing brainstorming project planning goal setting cost notes or vision meeting notes all of this are possible right on your Mac and the most important thing is you can even open it on the iOS this is just the a sample from the original welcome from I thought X so in order to create a new plan for yourself it's just to go to fall new and new map just right click new topic and you click child and you can even have the hyperlink on this yeah, just click hyperlink edit you can paste any uh, video or websites onto this so that when you launch these uh, note next time you can click on that uh, YouTube videos it linked to any website that you want it to be click it back you can even change it to call out yes with call out I can drag it anywhere I want and the good thing is you can even drag it into this and then it become the other child of Mac app review this is when you can choose so just to get it back to YouTube videos just drag it back to this okay it come back and if you want to scroll if you want to move it like this just right click and choose call out and you can even change the color of this one just go to any color that you you like one more thing that I want to mention as well is just right click new topic related floating right this this one you can also drag it like this as well but the good thing is you have different sign different option as you can see you can change it right click on the line straight line or curve line none arrow and row arrow right click if I want to change the shape yeah. peel 
you can have different options either one that you like it's up to you okay and above here you can add any icons some existing icons here you can even set the calendar canvas you can change the canvas the background of your note okay of your plant on here you can even add note here if you want to okay so I would like you guys to uh, explore more on this because what I'm showing you guys at the moment are the most important features that you should know about the iThoughts X okay so I think that should be enough now we can move on to the last okay which is not really important but I think it is necessary that everyone should have okay so this is the I better charge why this app is necessary for me this app just gives you notification that any of your devices is in low battery every time that I'm back from work and I turn on my iMac I notice immediately whose phone is in low battery because I try to connect all the phones available so that I will be alerted that either phone is in low battery because sometimes when I'm back from work I'm a bit busy just go straight to the Mac and start doing my project without thinking of whether to charge my phone but this app does a very good job telling me that I need to charge it otherwise I won't be able to use the phone the day after as you can see you can adjust the notification when you want this app to alert you 50% or 20% yeah I always leave 20% because this is the amount that I need my phone to be charged you can also fully charge you can also play the sound or show notifications so that you don't overcharge your phone let me show you on the status As you can see xs max i still have 69 percent battery left and if i want to add a new device what i have to do is to click add new device so no device found proceed to proceed connect your device over usb cable so you have to use the USB cable in order to add new device so now I've just plugged in my iPhone onto this as you can see now Parabot iOS is is found so just click start what happens to the list now I've got two different phones one is XS Max and the other one is Parabot iOS so I've got two different devices now okay guys so as I mentioned at the beginning of this video PDF Elements also want to give you guys some gift as well because now PDF Element is on the uh, review campaign so what you have to do is first download the PDF Element on the Mac App Store and give it a try whether you like it or not so second of all what you have to do is to write a review and rate the app how much you like it you have to do this before the 15th of June 2019 Third, what you have to do is to capture your review and send to jesse at wondershare.com. Last but not least is just to wait two to three business days. You will be sent $5 Amazon gift cards. Okay, so I hope you participate in this campaign. And let me know if you have any questions regarding all the apps I reviewed today. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks.